What's going on everybody? My name is Ian and welcome to another IR Sculpts video. Today I'm going to show you how you can customize your cam view in ZBrush. Let's do it. Okay everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a new custom cam view within ZBrush. Now what is your custom cam view or what is a cam view you're asking? Glad you asked. So if you look at the viewport at the top right, you'll actually notice I have a little Vegeta head. This is your cam view. It helps kind of set world orientation so you know at all times where your model is facing, whether it be the front, the top, underneath, or even the back. So what I'm going to do is actually go through real quickly how to set up your model to create a custom cam view. Before we get started, we actually have to prep our model to actually turn it into a cam view. And it's not too complicated, so let's go over this. You can see here I have my little Cthulhu that I've been working on, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the polyframe. Now, what we want to do is actually just isolate his head for a little bit. So I'm going to turn solo on, and I'm actually going to take the select rec by holding shift and control, coming up here and clicking select rec. And you can see I have my model broken up into several poly groups. This just helps me isolate it a little bit. You can make this as clean as you want, completely up to you. I'm going to go ahead and actually start selecting some of the poly groups that I want to be showcased in the model. And then I'm going to go ahead, come back up to the top, click the select lasso and select the rest of what I want. Go ahead and control shift drag to ice, uh, to invert if you need to. And we're just going to go ahead and pick this and I'm going to go ahead and hit delete hidden just because I really don't need anything else. Oh, they won't let me do that with subdivision. So we're going to go ahead and delete lower, then delete hidden. And now we have this guy right here. And I want this to be my cam view. If you do have any holes, I highly suggest that you close them. Just so the fact that you don't have any weirdness going on underneath. Now, what I will uh, preface right now is that the cam view will isolate everything. Uh, material, color. So depending on what you want to actually showcase your cam view, just keep that in mind that it will actually capture the color and the material as well. So pick something that's easy to see and read uh, very small. Now that we have isolated just the head of our model, what we're going to do is actually send it to the world home within your viewport. So to do that, I'm actually going to hit W to turn up the gizmo. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of tap right there. Hold Alt, hit the reset button and kind of center this to my model. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit the home button without holding alt. And that's going to send it to the world home that's within your viewport. And this part's important because what's going to happen is ZBrush is going to take a bunch of photos and you want to make sure that it's going to stay centered the whole time. Now that we did that, I'm going to go ahead and hit Q and hit F on the screen. Let's make sure that it is right where it wants it to be. Yes, it is. Okay, great. Hit F again. By hitting F, it actually is going to frame the entire model within the viewport. If you hit F once, it's actually going to kind of just go off and show the whole viewport. If you hit F again, it'll actually center it. What we need to do next is go up to Preferences, come all the way down to Cam View, and we're going to click Make Cam View. The size doesn't really matter at the moment, and neither does Next. That's actually just going to kind of cycle through the... Uh, what's current within ZBrush, but we're just gonna go ahead, ignore those for now, and we're gonna hit Make Cam View. Great, that was it, really fast. Now if we look at the top, we see I have my little Cthulhu just right there at top, and he's looking pretty good. Actually, that reads very, very well. What I'm gonna do next is go back to Preferences, and now if you wanna adjust the size, make it bigger or smaller, if max goes up to 250, and it can get pretty small too, I assume this is more if you have like a full model you want to use, but I don't know. 128 to 150 actually seems like an ideal size to me, but that part's completely up to you. Now, the main step is if you look to the left, you'll notice that in our texture window, we have a brand new image that appeared. We need to save this off into ZBrush's main file. So we're going to go ahead and click texture, and then I'm going to go ahead and click export. What I need to do now is actually locate where in ZBrush folder it is. So we're going to go on PC. We're going to go to our local disk drive. We're going to go to program files. We're going to go to pixel logic. Double click that. Click ZBrush 2021 or whatever current version you're running. I'm going to go to Z startup and go to cam view. And right here, you'll notice I have a couple already pre-made and we can just name this whatever we want. We'll call this. Cthulhu, and then we'll go ahead and hit save. 
it'll show us the screen, don't touch anything, it is perfectly fine the way it is. We'll go ahead and just hit enter and that will save that model. Now, the final step that we need to do is go back up to preferences, go to, uh, go to config, and we actually need to store configuration. If you don't store configuration, then it's actually going to forget the next time you load up ZBrush. Now, real quick, let's say you actually forgot to hit store configuration, but you saved it properly. That's okay. All you need to do is go back to preferences, go to cam view, and start clicking next. And I'll actually showcase the ones that are in not only ZBrush's main file, but the ones that you saved as well. That's why we need to save it in the cam view. Go ahead and pick the one that you like, and then go ahead and go back to preferences, config, and store config. Okay, everybody, that is it for today's video. So if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell for the notification, and also comment any questions or comments that you have in the comment section down below. Again, thank you guys so much, and as always, happy sculpting, and I'll catch you in the next one.